Hello friends, myself Dr. Nandukumar Rabole from College of Engineering Ambazube is going to deal with fluid mechanics. So in previous class we have discussed numerical numericals on a release method. Now today also we will see a few more numericals on release method. So we will see this numerical where the efficiency of a fan depends on density rho dynamic viscosity mu and angular velocity omega the diameter d of the rotor and discharge q and he is asking us to express this efficiency in terms of dimensionless parameters so the efficiency is not having any dimension so therefore we have to define this efficiency in terms of a dimensionless parameter that is in terms of density dynamic viscosity angular velocity diameter and discharge now let us see how to simplify this problem <coughs> so very first we will collect the dimensions of these parameters from this table so which are the parameters that we see is efficiency has got no dimension that means m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 whereas we have density rho that is kg per meter cube dimension for this density is kg means mass kg per meter cube that is length with a negative sign then we have viscosity dynamic viscosity for this dimension is m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 we can see this for density it is l m l to the power of minus 3 for viscosity it is m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 and then we have angular velocity omega that is radian per second that is t to the power of minus 1 then diameter of rotor d means distance distance means length l and discharge q that is meter cube per second meter cube means length to the power of 3 t to the power of minus 1 so we can see here for omega <coughs> angular velocity angular velocity omega t to the power of minus 1 and discharge is l to the power of minus 3 l to the power of 3 t to the power of minus 1 so we have collected all these dimensions now we correlate this efficiency is function of we call this as <coughs> density viscosity then angular velocity diameter and discharge cube so this can be written as efficiency is equal to k <coughs> rho to the power of a mu to the power of b omega to the power of c d to the power of d and q to the power of e so now substituting these <coughs> dimensions for various parameters we can write dimension for efficiency is m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 whereas e is equal to k density is m l to the power of minus 3 to the power of a so this is for density then for viscosity that is m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 to the power of b so this is for viscosity then angular velocity <coughs> t to the power of minus 1 to the power of c then length that is for diameter l to the power of d and q means l to the power of 3 t to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 to the power e so on simplification we write here as m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 is equal to k m to the power of a l to the power of minus 3a so distributing this a independently to both the parameters m to the power of b l to the power of minus b 
t to the power of minus b so b in distributing to these three parameters <coughs> then t to the power of minus c l to the power of d l to the power of 3e t to the power of minus k <coughs> now collecting the powers of each dimension that is powers of m powers of m on left hand side power of m is 0 0 is equal to on right hand side m to the power of a plus of m to the power of b only at, at two places we have m so we call this as <coughs> this is equation number one we call and this we call as equation number two then collecting powers of l <coughs> so power of l here is zero on left hand side on right hand side power of l is minus 3a then minus b then we have d plus of d we can call again we have l to the power of 3e plus of 3e so l to the power of minus 3a l to the power of minus b l to the power of d l to the power of 3a so we call this as equation number three then collecting powers of t so on left hand side powers of t is zero power of t is zero on right hand side power of t is here minus b again here minus c and here minus e <coughs> we call this as equation number four so now we obtain equation number one two three four <coughs> now we have to convert these three equations into so here we have three equations and five unknowns therefore we have to convert three unknowns in terms of remaining two unknowns so already we have five unknowns that is a b c d e but we have three equations so here we have a plus b is equal to 0 so collecting this a plus b a is specified in terms of b so a is equal to minus b we can write we call this as equation number say 5 so this equation number 5 is obtained from a plus b is equal to 0 means a is equal to minus b <coughs> so now coming back to this fourth equation so we will think of this equation number three later on so first we think of equation number four as there are minimum number of variables so here we had two variables therefore we chosen this first uh, equation number two then next uh, we have this fourth equation having minimum number of variables so here we can transfer this point uh, c and then we can get this c in terms of b and e so we can get c in terms of b and e or we can get e in terms of c and b so anyone can be done so here transferring this c on left hand side or transferring this e on left hand side so rest of the equations can be equation can be written so just we transfer this c so c is equal to minus b minus e we call this as equation number six so equation number six we get from equation number four now we take this equation three as it is zero is equal to minus three a minus b plus of d plus of three b e. so now we know the value of a we know the value of c so here c is there C is not there. Okay. So A value if we substitute here we'll get in terms of B and E. 
so this d we can transfer on the left hand side or rest of the things we can transfer on left hand side so d is equal to we can transfer minus 3a that becomes plus 3a minus b becomes plus b and 3e becomes minus 3e so d is equal to 3 a value is minus b plus of b minus of 3e so this can be written as minus 3b plus b is minus 2b minus of 3e minus of 2b minus of 3e we call this as equation number 7 that is d is equal to <coughs> this so now we will take these equations on next slide and then we will see so equation 5 6 and 7 we will take on next slide so a is equal to b minus b this is equation number 5 then equation number 6 is c is equal to minus b minus e c is equal to minus b minus e this is equation number 6 <coughs> then d is equal to minus 2b minus 3e this is equation number 7 so now we copy this equation number 1 on this new slide efficiency is equal to k times root to the power of a mu to the power of b then omega to the power of c d to the power of d and q to the power of e so now we can substitute the values of a b c d in this equation a root to the power of a means minus b mu to the power of b then omega to the power of c c play in place of c we can write as minus b minus e omega to the power of minus b minus e then d to the power of d value is minus 2d 2b minus 2b minus 3e then q to the power of e so this can be written as k rho to the power of minus b mu to the power of b then omega to the power of minus b omega to the power of minus e then d to the power of minus 2b then d to the power of minus 3e then q to the power of e so here <coughs> we can take this as this k mu to the power of b omega to the power of b divided by rho to the power of b and d to the power of d to the power of 2b we can transfer it on denominator so all terms of b we have collected on one side a rho was having minus b power so that is transferred into the denominator mu is having plus power then omega is having minus power that is minus means this is to be shifted in denominator omega to the power of b then d to the power of minus 2b then we can have the rest terms containing e power e so omega to the power of e means it will be in denominator plus e then q to the power of e and d to the power of 3e so when we transfer it on denominator so this is k is equal k into first bracket mu divided by omega rho d square to the power of b then q <coughs> divided by omega d to the power of 3 to the power of e we can write it in this way then this can be written as k function of in first bracket mu to the power of 
रो ओमेगा डी स्क्वायर पावर बी वी हैव टेकन इट एज फंक्शन देर फोर क्यू डिवाइडेड बाय ओमेगा डी टू द पावर ऑफ थ्री क्लोज दिस ब्रैकेट सो एफिशिएंसी इज डिफाइंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ के इनटू फंक्शन ऑफ फर्स्ट ब्रैकेट म्यू डिवाइडेड बाय रो ओमेगा डी स्क्वायर इनटू सेकंड ब्रैकेट क्यू डिवाइडेड बाय ओमेगा डी क्यूब सो दिस इज हाउ द एफिशिएंसी इज रिलेटेड विथ other parameters and this is a dimensional less relation between <coughs> the efficiency and remaining variables now we come to this second problem where the resisting force r for a supersonic plane during flight can be considered as dependent upon length velocity then viscosity of air density in bulk modulus of air and then we have to express this resisting force in terms of the other parameters now we will collect these parameters <coughs> so first is the resisting force force is having dimension as we can see here m l t to the power of minus 2 m L t to the power of minus two. And second one is we have length of aircraft. So length is having dimension. Distance means L. And next term is velocity. <coughs> velocity in meters per second means length per unit time. L t to the power of minus one. we can see here velocity l t to the power of minus 1 then we have viscosity so for viscosity m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 then we have term density That is kg per meter cube. Kg means mass per unit volume. Then we have the term k bulk modulus. So modulus of elasticity or bulk modulus, modulus of elasticity or k and e has got dimension as m l to the power of minus one t to the power of minus two. K m L to the power of minus one, t to the power of minus two. So these are the <coughs> dimensions for various correlations or uh, various parameters. Now we can write our resisting force is function of L V mu rho and k. now r can be written in terms of k mu to the power of a v to the power of b sorry l to the power of so this is l to the power of a v to the power of b mu to the power of c rho to the power of d and k to the power of e so now substituting these values or dimensions in this for resistance m l t to the power of minus 2 So now here instead of k, so this is k is here as well as here. So we can write instead of this k some other term. We say it as say yum. So we can take it as yum. So here we take yum, l to the power of k. <coughs> so now again m we cannot take because this m is there we can take this as n not m we can take it as n okay n is arbitrary constant 
em dimension for l is again l to the power of a velocity is l t to the power of minus 1 to the power of b then for viscosity it is m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 <coughs> to the power of c then for density it is m l to the power of minus 3 to the power of d then k m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 2 to the power of e so here we have taken intentionally n as the constant because k is already their bulk modulus so that will confuse us therefore we have taken it so power m power one m power one l power one is there so collecting powers of <coughs> So, collecting powers of EM on right hand side power is 1 or we will, uh, one, uh, we will take one more step N M to the power of uh, 1 L to the power of 1 T to the power of minus 2 N L to the power of A L to the power of B T to the power of minus B then m to the power of c, l to the power of minus c, t to the power of minus c, m to the power of d, l to the power of minus 3d, m to the power of e, l to the power of minus e, t to the power of minus 2e. So now here m to the power of 1, so we have taken 1, on right hand side m to the power of c, we can take here c, then m to the power of d <coughs> plus d and m to the power of e plus e so we call this as equation number one and this as equation number two then collecting powers of <coughs> powers of say el the power of L on left hand side is 1, on right hand side power of L is A, B, minus C, minus 3D, and E. So A plus B minus C minus 3D <coughs> minus E, we call this as equation number 3. A b <coughs> minus c minus 3d minus e then collecting powers of t on right hand side power of t is minus 2 is equal to power of t on right hand side is minus b again minus c and here we have minus 2e so we call this as equation number 4 so now from these equations we can see here so we have three equations and five unknowns therefore we choose the smallest equation so this equation number 2 is smallest therefore we can take d is equal to 1 minus c minus e we call this as equation number five so we have converted d in terms of c and e we have converted d in terms of c and e <coughs> now second smallest equation is this fourth equation so we have to convert this b in terms of c and e so transfer this b on left hand side and minus two on right hand side therefore b becomes plus and minus two also becomes plus so b is equal to 2 minus c minus 2e so this will be the equation number 6 so we have converted equation number 2 which is smallest and second one smallest equation is equation number 4 now this equation number 3 is containing 1 2 3 4 <coughs> 5 variables here we were observing 3 variables in equation number 2 and 4 therefore we have 
converted these two equations first in two other variables. Now taking this equation number 3, we can write 1 is equal to a plus b minus c minus 3d minus e. <coughs> this is equation number 3. Now we have to convert third variable that is already b and d. b and d are converted in terms of c and e. Therefore a is left. b and d, we can see b and d are converted in terms of C and E. Therefore, the parameter which is left is A. So, this A is equal to, we can write as 1 minus B plus C plus 3D plus E. So, transferring all these terms except A, B, C, 3D minus E on other side 1 minus b plus c plus 3d plus e so now again <coughs> 1 in place of b we can substitute 2 minus c minus 2e plus of in place of c we can substitute c itself plus of 3 into d in place of d we can substitute 1 minus c minus e plus of e now we can <coughs> simplify 1 minus 2 plus c plus 2e plus c plus 3 minus 3c minus 3e plus e so now here we can collect the constant terms 2 minus 1 minus 2 means minus 1 minus 1 <coughs> plus 3 is 2 1 plus 3 is 4 4 minus 2 is 2 then this term c plus c 2c c plus c is 2c minus 3c minus 3c means only minus c then 2e minus 3 minus e minus e plus e is 0 we can get this in this way that is <coughs> a is equal to 2 minus c so we call this as equation number 7 now we'll take equation number 5 6 and 7 on next slide D is equal to 1 minus C minus E. 1 minus C minus E. Then B is equal to 2 minus C. 2 minus C minus 2E. D is equal to 1 minus C minus E. B is equal to 2 minus C minus 2E. And A is equal to <coughs> 2 minus C. A is equal to 2 minus C. So this is equation number 5, 6 and 7. So now we take this equation number 1. R is equal to en l to the power of a v to the power of b mu to the power of c rho to the power of d and k to the power of e so now r is equal to en is constant l to the power of a <coughs> A means 2 minus C. Then V to the power of B. <coughs> v to the power of B means 2 minus C minus 2E. From equation number 6. Then mu to the power of C. Rho to the power of D means 1 minus C minus E. Then K to the power of E. <coughs> 
r is equal to n so separating these terms l to the power of 2 l to the power of minus c <coughs> v to the power of 2 v to the power of minus c v to the power of minus 2 e <coughs> mu to the power of c rho to the power of 1 rho to the power of minus c rho to the power of minus e then k to the power of e <coughs> so the terms with constant power l square v square and rho to the power of 1 we collect n L square <coughs> V square root to the power of 1. <coughs> then we collect the terms containing power C. So these are the four terms L to the power of minus C, V to the power of minus C, mu to the power of C, and root to the power of minus C then we collect the terms <coughs> containing power e v to the power of minus 2 e rho to the power of minus e k to the power of e <coughs> this can be written as n rho l square v square this first term then this second term containing power C can be written as mu divided by rho V L to the power of C because L, V and rho have power negative so those come in the denominator mu remains in the numerator then this in this case K has got power positive so K in the numerator rho v square in the denominator to the power of e so this can be written as n rho l square v square function of <coughs> mu divided by rho v c into k divided by rho v square so this is the correlation of resistance force with <coughs> the rest of the terms mu divided by rho v l this is l not c rho v l divided by k rho v square so this is the final correlation obtained now we will go for next numerical <coughs> fluid density rho viscosity mu flows at an a fluid density rho and viscosity mu flows at an average velocity v through a circular pipe of diameter d show dimensionless analysis for shear stress <coughs> so here we have to correlate shear stress tau with rho mu and d so these are the the correlations which we have to correlate in this way so correlation is also given in this problem we have to correlate shear stress with density viscosity diameter and velocity so here only four parameters are given four <coughs> variables are given independent variable and only one dependent variable so now we take one by one so first is density rho then viscosity velocity then diameter with shear stress tau density means kg per meter cube mass per meter cube viscosity just we see here m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 then velocity is meters per second l t to the power of minus 1 d is length then shear stress so here <coughs> pressure or shear stress shear stress is m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 2 m 
एल टू दावर ऑफ माइनस वन टी टू दावर ऑफ माइनस टू सो नाउ वी कैन राइट दिस स्टव इज फंक्शन ऑफ रो म्यू वी डी और वी कैन राइट शेयर स्टव इज इक्वल टू के रो टू दावर ऑफ के न्यू टू दावर ऑफ बी v to the power of c and d to the power of d so shear stress dimension is m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 2 is equal to k density dimensions are m l to the power of minus 3 to the power of a then mu <coughs> m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 power b वेलोसिटी इज एल टी टू दावर ऑफ माइनस वन पावर सी देन डी डायमीटर इज लेंथ डी एल टू दावर ऑफ डी सो हियर वी कैन राइट एम टू दावर ऑफ वन एल टू दावर ऑफ माइनस वन टी टू दावर ऑफ माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू के एम टू दावर ऑफ ए एल टू दावर ऑफ माइनस थ्री ए देन एम टू दावर ऑफ बी L to the power of minus b, t to the power of minus b, L to the power of c, t to the power of minus c, and L to the power of d. So collecting powers of. So we call this as equation number one. Collecting powers of. Yeah, we get on right hand side is one. A. Plus of B. So only at two places we have the terms. So this we call as equation number two. Then collecting powers of L. Powers of L. Left hand side power of L is minus one. Is equal to minus three A. Then power of L is minus B. <coughs> power is plus C plus D. So this is equation number three. Then minus two collecting powers of T on left hand side power is minus two. So here minus B minus C. Minus B minus C. So this is fourth equation. <coughs> so now we can see here we have three equations and four unknowns. Therefore, we have to convert three unknowns in terms of a fourth unknown. So therefore, this equation two. Can be written as a is equal to one minus b. So we call this as equation number five. <coughs> a is equal to one minus b. Then we can write this c is equal to two minus b as the equation number six. We have converted a and c in terms of b. So now So this B is transfer, uh, uh, C is transferred on left hand side, and two is transferred on right hand side. So C is equal to two minus B. Then again we take this equation number three minus one is equal to minus three A minus B plus C plus D. Now you can see here A is converted in terms of B, then C is converted in terms of B. And B is going to remain as it is, so D we have to change now. So these terms we can transfer on other side. So therefore we can write D is equal to <coughs> minus one plus three A plus B minus C. So we can transfer these terms on other side. Minus one plus three A plus B minus C. So this is equal to minus one plus of three a. A means 
वन माइनस बी प्लस ऑफ बी एंड सी मीन्स माइनस ऑफ टू माइनस बी इन प्लेस ऑफ सी इन प्लेस ऑफ ए बी वी हैव कैप्टाइज इट इज माइनस वन प्लस ऑफ थ्री माइनस थ्री बी प्लस ऑफ बी माइनस टू प्लस ऑफ बी सो नाउ वी कैन सी हियर माइनस वन प्लस थ्री मीन्स प्लस टू प्लस टू माइनस टू गेट्स कैंसर सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो माइनस थ्री बी प्लस बी माइनस टू बी माइन प्लस बी दैट इज प्लस टू बी माइनस बी इज माइनस बी डी इज इक्वल टू माइनस बी सो वी हैव इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन now we can take these equations on next slide a is equal to 1 minus b equation number 5 c is equal to 2 minus b equation number 6 and d is equal to minus b equation number 7 so now taking equation number 1 equation number 1 is shear stress is equal to k rho to the power of a mu to the power of b v to the power of c d to the power of d so here we can write k rho to the power of a means rho to the power of 1 minus b mu to the power of b v to the power of c means 2 minus b and d to the power of minus b <coughs> so this can be written as k rho to the power of 1 rho to the power of minus b mu to the power of b v to the power of 2 v to the power of minus b d to the power of minus b <coughs> so shear stress tau is equal to k rho <coughs> v square have constant powers so rho v square we collect then terms having power b we collect on other side so this is rho to the power of minus b v to the power of minus b d to the power of minus b and mu to the power of b so this can be written as k rho v square so these terms having negative sign will go in the denominator therefore mu Divided by rho v d to the power of minus b. <coughs> This can be written again as shear stress is equal to k rho v square and function of mu divided by rho v d. So d uh, we are supposed to write capital D here. This is capital D. Therefore. we can take it as capital e so this is as same as it is given in the problem itself you can see in this problem <coughs> rho v square function of this rho v d divided by mu so we have written it as k rho v d divided by mu so k was missing in this equation here there must be k term k some constant has to be specified so this is the correlation of shear stress with the independent variables that is velocity density viscosity diameter so this is how we have discussed a release method to find the correlations between the dependent and independent variable thank you